there. Um, my name is Allura, and my husband and I have just moved to North Carolina, and um, I just was checking out um, your pregnancy center and just wanted to ask you, you know, what you, um, you know, what y'all's role is, like what you do and what you offer the moms. Yeah, so do you have a history or background of working with pregnancy clinics? Not the pregnancy clinics themselves. Um, I do, uh, I am a sidewalk counselor, so I go to the different abortion mills and we offer help to the moms and we give them the truth, you know, about what God's word says and um, we try to get them the help they need. And sometimes that's going to a pregnancy center for an ultrasound and, um, you know, getting them plugged into local churches and, um, so I was just wondering, you know, what y'all offer. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we are, um, we're Hand of Hope. We're a Christian um, nonprofit. Um, we have four primary services that include free and confidential pregnancy testing. We have limited ultrasound, parenting classes, and then post-abortive counseling. Mm-hmm. We actually have just recently launched our own sidewalk training. Um, so we have a center here in Fuquay, and then we have a sister center in Raleigh called Your Choice Pregnancy Clinic, and we're actually right across the street from the abortion center. So, um, yeah, we have a third building that we are not operating operating out of yet because we're in a federal lawsuit with the city of Raleigh. Mm. Um, we, um, we bought the house directly beside the abortion clinic, and they have prevented us from being able to get in. So we're in a big lawsuit right now. Um, wow. Yeah, so we, we do a lot. We are, um, you know, we offer the typical pregnancy centers, but we also have a sidewalk counseling um, that we just began called um, um, Advocates of Hope, or I can't, I can't mm-hmm. remember the exact name. Uh, and then, yeah, so that is a little bit about what we do here. Okay. So, um, I missed your name. I'm sorry. What is your name? My name is Savannah. Savannah. Okay. And I'm Allura. It's nice to talk to you and I appreciate, you know, you're taking the time to talk to me for a few minutes. So, um, so when a mom comes in there, um, so sometimes I'm assuming she's looking for help through her pregnancy, like she's not abortion minded. Right. But um, I'm sure that sometimes, you know, they are, uh, you do have women coming in there who are kind of on the fence about what they're going to do, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. And so do y'all, uh, do you share scripture with the moms and, and... Yeah, so our primary goal is to share the gospel with every person that walks into our door. Mm-hmm. But we do that through the, through the services of pregnancy counseling. So. Yeah, we, um, every client, when they come in, they get a gift bag, whether or not they have a positive pregnancy test or a negative. And in that, we um, have Bibles or devotionals. And um, with their permission, we um, do share the gospel when we are back with them providing a service. Okay. Um, I, so y'all have a website, right? I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. Okay. We I have. Sure do. Okay. We have um, a website, and then we also have social media. Facebook, we're on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. And do you... Our website, do you want me to give that to you? Uh, sure. Yeah. Then we can check us out. And, our, and our Facebook is a really good way, too, because we post, um, with permission of clients, we'll post new baby pictures or baby mm-hmm. visits, or um, we can keep people updated on kind of what's happening in our centers, what's going on. Okay. And, um, yeah, so it's a good way for people to kind of get a glimpse into the world that... Um, like of what happens going on in the youth center. Okay. So our website is handofhope.net. Handofhope.net. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And then, yeah, if you on Facebook type in Hand of Hope Pregnancy Resource Center, we'll, um, our page will pop up there, too. Okay. Now, do you have um, scripture on your website and on your materials? Um, I have to look on materials such as so, like, on our website, I have to look. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, on the okay. materials that we give out for sidewalk counseling, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm, I've, I've not reviewed it myself exactly yet. But, okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm assuming 
think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, so when you said that you have materials for the mom, so what kind of literature do you have? What do you pass out? Are you familiar? Like I'm just wondering, are you are you familiar with Ray Comfort and um, Hell's Best Kept Secret, True and False Conversion? Mm -hmm. our business resources to let them know we're right around the corner so mm -hmm. where they might be going to the preferred health which is the abortion clinic that okay. we're going to decide um, to pay $150 for an ultrasound that we're right there mm -hmm. when we do it for free. Um, okay. As far as materials that we can then see in the center while they're taking that all varies. I mean it, it varies on circumstances as far as um, to meet their specific needs. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, would y'all see it as a priority to, you know, to, to share scripture, to share the commandments uh, that, you know, where God says you shall not murder and um, helping them to see things as far as the decision about what to do with their baby to see in terms of what God tells us, that he commands us, you know, not to murder and that... Um, you know, he forbids the shedding of innocent blood and, um, you know, are you sharing with them about that? Um, because I'm a believer, you know, obviously I want to see the gospel going forth. I want to see, um, some of the pregnancy centers that I've, um, dealt with before. Um, they actually offer three choices, like they offer parenting, abortion, and adoption, and really, as as Christians and as a Christian pregnancy center, you know, you would have a responsibility before God, you know, to tell them that as parents, which she's already a mother, if she's carrying that child in her womb, that she has a responsibility to love that baby and to protect that little baby. Um, you know, we can't give them, we can't make it sound like they have the choice of killing their child you know, because God forbids that. And so we just have to be faithful to his word and what he tells us. And I know sometimes as a sidewalk counselor over the years, it's been very challenging to me. And I'm sure I've failed many times. But, um, you know, when a mom is sharing a desperate situation and everything, I just have to remember uh, what God's word says, because it's God's word that is the standard, you know. For sure, certainly. So, I mean, yeah, we are in life mm -hmm. and we you know we believe in, in that to choose life in every circumstance so that mm -hmm. rape incest unplanned whatever that mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, I kind of just want to I guess I guess what is your because I feel like there might be like an underlying question what is your underlining concern whether or not we are um like our our methodology and how we're approaching it is it more yeah. like on the side count? sidewalk side of things or more like in our center kind of thing yeah well it's encouraging to hear that you have the sidewalk <clears throat> the training you know for the people to actually go out there on the sidewalk I think that's awesome um, yeah. and um, you know I'll be ministering at different abortion mills around the state and so I'm just just checking with the different um, pregnancy centers to see not only what